two good friends, Joe Wilson and Gregory Baffett, officiating. But the Jamaicans had an early setback as Dan Zahayak played on and was bold. But Bonner and Parchment eased their worries and they batted supremely well. A pull through, back with a square, and some fine cut shots highlighted this partnership that totaled 166 for the second wicket. Parchment raised his 50, and this reverse sweep brought up Nkrumah Bonner's half century. Jamaica was sitting pretty at 140 for one. Good, more good batting between these two, Bonner and Parchment. They have played together for quite some time and they know each other well. But Jamaica lost a cloud of wickets in the second power play. Uh, that was Bonner out caught there by Bob. Followed by Parchment. Bonner went for 74, Parchment 86, caught at backward point. Devon Smith taking an easy catch. And Delon Johnson was happy about that. In came Andre McCarthy. He didn't last long. Coming in batting at number four. And Tamar Lambert, the big captain, came in. And he too was out in a similar fashion. Les Boris taking two catches. And Jamaica had to depend on Blackwood to try and push things on. But he holed out just there at long on. Bernard Jr. though is known to swing the bat and he did it with great effect. He made 32 not out from just 25 balls. Ball did not have the big effect that he expected. Seven wickets fell and as the eighth did, Jamaica were trying desperately to get to 250. Bernard helped them get very close. That was his fourth boundary and some luck went his way as well. 242 for eight is what she wrote. Well done, Jamaica. Bernard. Early setback with Johnson Charles not moving his feet. It was bowled quite early by David Bernard Jr. But then it was a flurry of boundaries. Devin Smith just took control. He was like a pilot. He didn't need a co-pilot on this occasion. He was in full flight, in full swing, and played some delightful shots. He cut, he pulled, he drove. He was in command, emphasizing his form. But then we saw Theophile joining the party. And Smith, he continued to guide him, getting his half century from just 48 balls. However, when he was out caught behind, it was a very touchy position for the Wimbledon Islands. Another wicket fell too, quickly after, and the Wimbledon fell themselves 100 for three. But Fletcher and Les Porus kept things going. Fletcher played some nice shots. Les Porus, a bit eerie fairy early on. But he had some very poor bowling from the Jamaicans. He also got his half century. The fielding was not the best either. Some catches were put down and the Jamaicans looked a bit sloppy. When he was finally dismissed on the boundary, it left a situation where the winner was still needed. 62 runs. And Liam Sebastian playing this cover drive eased the pressure a lot. And Les Boris opened up his shoulders and struck a big six. Another boundary, and this one brought up his 50. The third 50 in the Wimbledon Islands team. It was a team effort from them. His wicket with two overs left. It was still close, but only seven runs were needed. And Dalton Polius came in, struck this boundary to ease the pressure. And there was dancing in the stands. The Wimbledon Islands had their fans. This is how the victory came. And it was all smiles from there for the Wimbledon Islands.